Hello, and welcome to the DemoAt series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. DemoAts are brief instructional videos that demonstrate specific features of TDV. In this DemoAt, we discuss using JMeter to perform load testing on TDV REST resources. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining JMeter load testing and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of using JMeter with TDV REST resources. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what JMeter is and why it is important for our customers. JMeter is an Apache open source project that offers a comprehensive load testing solution. It may be used to perform load testing for functional behavior as well as performance management. JMeter supports many different servers and protocols. In this demo, we concentrate on using JMeter to load test TDV REST resources. JMeter is important to our customers because they often need to understand the performance characteristics of TDV before purchasing the product or before committing to large new projects. JMeter load tests can help customers develop their hardware requirements. It can also help them identify project resources that may require tuning or other design considerations. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of using JMeter with TDV REST resources. Here is the business problem that we illustrate in this demo. We have built a RESTful web service in TDV that functions correctly. Now we want to be sure that it will work with acceptable response times with many concurrent users. We'll use JMeter to simulate concurrent user load. Begin by going to jmeter.apache.org and learning about JMeter. JMeter is a very rich and sophisticated product, and we can only scratch its surface in this brief demo. You can download JMeter from this site and install it. Installation is very simple. Just extract the download to a directory of your choice. One important installation note is that Apache recommends that you install JMeter in a directory path which does not contain any spaces. You will need a TDV web service operation to test. Find the lookup product procedure in the TDV examples folder and publish it to a web service endpoint called demoat jmeter rest as shown here. When considering any load testing, it is essential that everyone involved be aware of the need to plan and scope the effort. You can't just fire up 10,000 simulated users on your laptop and expect to get realistic results. If you did this, you would simply surface limitations that are not related to what you are trying to test. For example, a load this big on a single client machine would likely overwhelm its available CPU, RAM, and disk resources. In addition, this setup would probably cause artificial network problems. The client machine's network interface card would likely be overwhelmed. Even if you spread the load across several machines on a single LAN, you would likely have an artificial situation because a LAN is a broadcast zone for IP messages and would create a flood of packets that differs from a more real-world situation where users are spread across several LAN boundaries. A heavy load on a single client can also surface JMeter limitations. For example, JMeter runs each simulated user on a thread and it is susceptible to an issue known as coordinated omission. If a thread cannot complete a task before its next task is scheduled to begin, it simply skips the next task, which means that the total load will be smaller than expected. It is also important to consider the design of the TDV resource requests to be tested. For example, if you have a REST resource that requires a filter parameter, you may get unrealistic results if every simulated user submits the same filter. JMeter has capabilities to deal with all of the above issues. You can design tests that use a fleet of remote client machines, and you can vary query parameters across simulated users. 
However, you could easily spend months in the design, construction, execution, and analysis of the perfect test. When time and resources are constricted, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Start small and take basic load measurements. Then make your test plans more sophisticated as time and resources permit. As we begin the demo, let's first examine the TDV REST resource we will be using for load testing. It accepts a parameter that specifies a product ID. When we execute it in a browser, we are challenged for user ID and password, and the data is returned in XML format. Now we're ready to use JMeter. To start it on Windows, run jmeter.bat from the jmeter installation directory. A console window appears, followed by the user interface. The test plan is the highest level object. Begin by renaming it, as shown here. Note that JMeter editors do not have a save button. Your work is automatically saved as you make changes. However, you will need to save your test plan project when you are all done, so that it can be reloaded later. You can do this from the File menu. To build a test plan, we add a series of child objects to the top-level test plan object. Right-click the test plan, select Add, Threads, Thread Group. This will let us define our simulated end users. The Thread Group editor appears. You can rename the Thread Group, but this is optional. I have defined five users. I tell JMeter to ramp up all five users in a total time of one second. I want each user to execute 10 iterations of whatever workload I define. Now right-click the Thread Group, select Add, Config Element, HTTP Request Defaults. Here we can specify default values that will be used by all requests in the Thread Group. I've chosen just to enter the server name and port number. Now right-click the Thread Group and select Add, Config Element, HTTP Authorization Manager. We need the Authorization Manager in order to submit the username and password information required by TDV in the HTTP Basic Authorization header. Enter the base URL for the TDV web service, along with username and password. Select Basic Digest from the Mechanism drop-down field. Here's a quick side note. JMeter also has a config element called HTTP Cookie Manager. TDV doesn't create cookies, so we won't be using it. However, if you are working with TDV in the context of a web page that uses cookies for some other reason, you may want to add this element. At this point, we have defined all the general information for the thread group. Now we can define the specific requests. Right-click the thread group and select Add, Sampler, HTTP Request. For our first request, add the path to the web service, and in the parameter area, enter the name of the filter parameter and a filter value of 2. Then create a second HTTP request. This one is identical to the first, except that it uses a filter value of 5. We are ready to try out our load test. But first, we need to define a way to gather the results. Right-click the thread group and select Add, Listener, Graph Results. Leave the default settings for the graph listener and click the Run button. Graph results are shown for all the selected measures. Summary information is provided at the bottom of the screen. Note that there are 100 samples. That's because we have five users. Each is running a query for product ID 2 and another for product ID 5. And each user is looping through the tasks 10 times. 
If you press the Run button repeatedly, the graph results accumulate. Here are the results after 1,000 samples. The Graph Results Listener is great for initial functional testing, but it is not recommended for actual load testing because this listener is very resource intensive. Let's look at some other listeners that are more appropriate for load testing. First, right-click the Graph Results Listener and disable it. Now right-click the Thread Group and select Add, Listener, Simple Data Writer. The Simple Data Writer is a good listener for an actual load test because it is not resource intensive. You can use the Browse button to define a CSV file to hold the test results. This error message simply means that the file does not already exist. Don't worry, JMeter will create it when you run the test. Run the test and then open the CSV file you defined. We can see that the tasks were successful and we can learn about the timings. The summary report is another listener choice that is also modest in resource consumption. It produces a useful summary of aggregated results. It also records detailed information in the CSV file, much like the Simple Data Writer. In this presentation, we have only scratched the surface of JMeter's capabilities. However, we have shown how to create a simple but meaningful load test of TDV REST resources and demonstrated several ways to view the test results. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. JMeter is an Apache open source project that offers a comprehensive load testing solution. It may be used to perform load testing for functional behavior as well as performance management. JMeter supports many different servers and protocols. JMeter is important to our customers because they often need to understand the performance characteristics of TDV before purchasing the product or before committing to large new projects. JMeter load tests can help customers develop their hardware requirements. It can also help them identify project resources that may require tuning or other design considerations. Thank you.